Okay, so I have kind of an embarrassing confession to make to you guys. Uh, it looks way better than it did before, but I actually injured my pinky this past week, and the way that I did it is kind of embarrassing, okay? So uh, I was scrolling through social media, and I ran across this guy who makes these recipes, and he uses uh, a mandolin, which is not an instrument. It's actually uh, like a cooking gadget. And what the mandolin does is it very thinly slices cucumbers. So if you want to make like a cucumber salad or something like that, you can very thin slice uh, cucumbers using a mandolin. And this influencer guy on social media, he makes all these great recipes using a mandolin. And so without thinking, as I'm mindlessly scrolling, I think, oh, I can easily make cucumbers this way. It would be so efficient. So I order a mandolin cucumber slicer on Amazon. It comes to my door almost instantly. And then I start to make my cucumber recipes. Now, two different times I use this mandolin to cut cucumbers and I nick my finger. Two different times, not major injuries, just nicks. But each time I did it, I thought, man, I will not use this again. This is pointless. I am not qualified clearly to use this. I need to throw this thing away. But last week I made an effort. I was influenced again by this guy on Instagram making cucumber salad. And I pull out my mandolin, I start to cut the cucumber, and then immediately I slice a huge part of my pinky off using this cucumber slicer, this mandolin. I was influenced and then I was injured. And that's a very silly explanation for what I'm about to say. It's a very silly illustration. It is a true story, it did happen. And so for that, I'm embarrassed. But it did remind me of a principle that we see is true in Romans chapter 12. Romans chapter 12 says this, I appeal to you therefore brothers by the mercies of God to present your bodies as a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable to God, which is your spiritual worship. That's the instruction. Present yourselves to God. Be useful to God. Present your bodies as a living sacrifice. Everything that you are, it's for God and it's for his purposes. That's the instruction. And then number two is the warning. It says this in verse two, do not be conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewal of your mind, that by testing you may discern what is the will of God, what is good and acceptable and perfect. I'm intrigued by this idea of not being conformed, but being transformed. And here's why I'm intrigued. Being conformed happens by accident. I was influenced online into buying a kitchen gadget that I never should have been using. And then when I did use it, I injured myself like an absolute idiot. I was conformed into doing that and it resulted in an injury. Maybe sometimes we're conformed to the patterns of this world, the ways of this world, and maybe we end up injured. Maybe we end up sinning. Maybe we end up making these big mistakes. Being conformed happens by accident. Being transformed happens on purpose. Be transformed by the renewing of your mind. We have to make a conscious decision in this life to put our minds in a space where they can be renewed by God. And the way that we do that is by putting ourselves in the word, putting ourselves in a small group, putting ourselves in the church community and in the church scene, putting ourselves in spaces of worship or in gratitude. Here's my encouragement to you. Being conformed, it happens by accident and it usually ends up in injury or sin. Being transformed, it happens on purpose and it happens with a decision to not only know Jesus, but to actually follow him with your actions. So what's a way this week that you can set apart for you to intentionally pursue the person and relationship with God instead of being conformed by the way that the world has to offer you?